Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Dark Souls Remastered. I just looked it up. It doesn't seem like there's any uh, important thing that Chester has, so we're gonna murder him. Get that dank, dank armor. You win. Please. Oh, please. Have mercy. Yoink. Yes. Yes. The dank coat. Oh. I mean, I'll leave down the Kelly, but there's an animal here. I'll just take that. Oh, no, that's not the one. Uh, this is the one. It drops so fast, I'm surprised the gravity doesn't fuck up and, like, and, like, uh, make it so that you go flying off and then just fog your death. Uh. Also, I know you run into the cat down here, but I'm pretty sure the cat's just supposed to lead you to our, to, uh, Sif. So, I don't think there's any reason to go find him now. Unless they drop an item of some sort. Let me go see. I'm pretty sure it's just back up here on the left, but I'd, I'd be running into him from the back, but whatever. No big deal. Oh, unless I go this way. Because then I can drop down from here. Yeah, there's a few of those sprites, but not a big deal. I kind of have an idea of where I'm going. Kind of. And then, because that's where I was shot before when I was at the bridge up there. And that was where I mentioned that uh, this floor here breaks. Let me make sure my health is topped off. Oh, wait, it doesn't break. It's just invisible. Hey, cat. Wow. Yeah, she's leading you to the, the fake wall. And then that's where you'd smack that. By Notorious. Or Sif. Okay. I was wondering if maybe like it dropped an item on the last one for some reason. I don't know why, I just I kinda remember that happening, even though clearly it didn't. So let's check down here. Up top was how you get across to that one place, but uh I think you can go down and I think there's something down here. Maybe not. What's that item over there? It's so far away. Oh, but that's where the drop was. Okay, yeah, we need to go up and around again. Back to where the wizard was. And we drop down here. We go across here. This is a great place to invade. Using thrust because I don't want to bump the wall and get fucking screwed by it. Yeah, white slap. That'll be useful for getting the achievement for getting weapons maxed out. Just a bit of trading. Alright, let's top ourselves off. 
Got the crest shield ready, got the silver pendant ready. Fuck the backstab one, we really don't need it. Uh, what would be a good one? Just miracle synergy. Man, remember that mechanic that nobody uses? Uh... That could be useful because there's a lot of magic here. Can't really think of much. Maybe poise. We can also take this helmet off. We're not going to need it. You know, he could have crushed me in his hand there, and that would have worked really well for him, but, uh, now nah, he'd rather, he'd rather foit. I mean, think about that. He grabs you by his hand. At some point, he basically just has to leave you there, walk away, and then you have to wake up while he's walking back. That's a, that's a fucking dope-ass, like, pose right there, like, the... Like, your character's leaning forward, like, alright, here we go. With this giant fucking thing right there. Oh, whoop. Oh, god. Right, if you wanna, if you wanna dodge that effectively, you gotta, you gotta be fast rolling. Oh. Welcome to the International Flop Olympics. See how much people can flop around. I'm just kind of tanking this for the most part. Oh, oh god, I might, I might die from this. Depends how much the last time was. No, okay. I saw that coming. I knew I was fucked. I was like, please use any other uh, abyss spell than that one. Ugh. I might need the fast roll for this. This is what I was talking about when I said uh, this is kind of like the start of the whole dodge and attack frequently play style that the game kind of ended up creating at one point. Township's closer. And uh, yeah, this is exactly what I mean. You kind of need fast roll to dodge the uh, the the rapid uh, sweeping attacks or like a heavy shield but this shield uh, even with its higher stability since it's a medium shield probably wouldn't be enough I need to look up if I need to give her the soul to get her weapons or if I can just kill her and get it all huh. let me see uh, let me try out Chester's armor not upgraded at all, which is unfortunate, but... I like it with the Elite Knight hat. It's just like, yeah. Oh, I might not be able to roll with that, though. I, I, was, I wasn't really using the Zweihander, so let's swap that up with the Halberd. Maybe that'll be enough. Nope. Well, that's enough. I can actually go with a little bit more than that. That's too much. Barely too much, actually. So 4.2, I think one that's weighs 4 or less should be fine, though. Yeah. Don't like how that one looks, so let's see if we can find something better. <laughs> how would this look with that set? Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Why not Mask of the Child? It doesn't really look the best, but extra stamina and regeneration could be very useful here. I 
It'll probably also hit me really hard because this armor is not upgraded. Don't know if you can upgrade Chester's actually. I think you can. I'll just send this back up. That way if I die, I don't have to wait for it again. Alright, you're all back. No, wait, I need to go up. And then down and around. So are you back? Yeah, you come back. Hey, man, I can see you down there. Oh, it, it shows the cutscene again? I thought you had to drop down each following time. Oh, I didn't think that actually reached me. I mean, I knew it was an extendy hand, but... Can I just have a moment to heal, please? Damn it, he still got me. I knew I was gonna get smacked by that, I just figured. Might as well top myself off. Oh man, that hit me? Let's have the silver pendant at the ready. We can switch to assets whenever we need to. That's why you want the silver pendant. You can, you can dodge all that stuff without it, but it's convenient to just be able to... Oh, oh, I saw that coming. I thought I hit the dodge button in time, but I guess I did. Whoa! I didn't realize you can, like, knee you in the face on the up part. Okay. Oh, would you stop jumping? Jesus. It's actually quite annoying, I have to say. Off. Keep the silver pendant ready. Oh, I knew that was coming, but I was mid attack at that point. No, no, oh, shit. No, this is gonna kill me. He was so close to death. Fuck you, Manus. Manus, Manus, I don't fucking know. That was bull. Oh, I need to rest at that one bonfire. Fuck. Don't you hate when the boss like does the move that kills you when he's at like one percent? This is also the start of bosses that instead of like Fighting you in a way, oh, let me rest her. Fighting you in a way where the battle is to not get whittled down to death and to try to have openings to heal. It is instead try not to get two shotted. That's an, I mean, I know I'm wearing like less good armor, but we saw how much damage I was taking with the other one. That's another habit with games recently I've kind of been hating. Is that hard difficulty rather than making the game hard just makes it so that you usually just die in two rapid hits. So it's like rather than doing good throughout the course of like a long fight. It's like fights tend to be shorter, but then be like, well, don't fuck up once. Uh, or like back to back without getting the heal. 
uh, then it's all over. It, it just there's something about losing a fight that's like a long arduous battle where you kind of know the loss is coming because you're getting willed down, you're not doing well, but you're also thinking about how you can be doing better. That's just way better to me than just like, you know, it doesn't suck when you're doing really well in a fight, but because of how it's designed where you just get slapped twice really quick, it's like, well, you lose. It's just in that circumstance, it's like, what can I do to do better? Like, obviously you just don't get hit twice in a row, but what did I learn from that? There's really not much. Just keep doing what you've been doing. Just don't slip up. It kind of takes away your ability to, to like devise a good strategy. I mean, there's, there's, because I mean, take, take, take into account bosses that aren't like this one with like the four kings. You can have a strategy of essentially just trying to tank through it. You can do that by stacking poise, and that's something that works really well against the four kings, but actually not too well against other things. That's just kind of a strategy for them. Like it can work well on some bosses, but you would need some real damage to back it up. Four kings, you can be a lot more lenient with it. Because it's because there's so much separation time between their attacks that, like, uh, your poise has a chance to recover, like, for every single attack, so you can just keep tanking through it. That did not hit me. Look at that. Look how far away it is. Oh my, that's so cheap. Like, the knee going into the air? Fuck that. He was just waiting for me to attack, and then immediately he busted out his attack. I'm over here. I don't, again, I don't see how that hit. Fucking Christ, you give Manus an inch, he'll take a fucking mile. Like, i would taken so much damage just trying to heal. That didn't hit me. You saw it. I knew that was coming and I fucked up there. <laughs> what is the timing on that? I seem to be getting it right, but then like, it's like, oh shit. It's like the hitbox lasts so long that you just kind of get fucked. Oh, I thought he was using the one he shot upwards, but it was the one he shot straight ahead. I finicked around for the, the silver talisman for too long. I would have hit dodge if I knew it was the front one. I fucked up. I still don't believe I was getting hit by those jump attacks. In hindsight, I'm, I guarantee I was dodging it on time. Because, like, you saw, like, I would finish the dodge, and then I'd get hit at the end. It's like the hitbox of that thing lasts, like, a full second or something like that, and it just keeps fucking you. I hate when attacks have like these super long hitboxes. I get how in some circumstances it can be interesting to make it so you have to time your dodge more precisely, but other attacks like that are exist in the game and they don't function like that, so it's it's just it's inconsistent, which is never fun. Inconsistencies are never fun. They, the inconsist inconsistencies always just feel cheap. Because it's like a game teaching you that something works as a tactic against something, and then basically putting it in the exact same situation, and then it just doesn't work for no real explainable reason. I, I used to love Manus as a boss. He used to be like one of my favorite fights, but honestly, as of recently, just uh, the more I thought about it and like the more like what it is, I'm also going to switch back to my full hardcore poise set. And I'm probably going to use the Halberd, actually. I think the Halberd's going to work real well for me. Not that. There you go. Because the Halberd should be hitting pretty hard. And I think I can shield through a lot more of his attacks than I think. Especially with the Silver Knight shield. It's a hell of a shield. Worst case scenario, I can always upgrade a great shield and just try and tank through his attacks like that, but uh, yeah, I'm still opting that this is honestly just 
a very different boss design relative to most of the other Dark Souls bosses designs. Where's my blood stain? There it is. Give me that blood stain. Give me that blood stain. Give me that blood stain. Well, that's how it dodged. With the medium roll, no less. Okay, yeah, I can I can block and get a few of those. Not, uh, I can block and get a few of those. Get knocked back of it because I have a really high stability shield. That was not the smart thing to do there. I should have just blocked it. Okay, yeah, just go block Andy. This this is working. Keep the silver band out though. I mean, having a Silver Knight shield is like the equivalent of having a great shield you can carry with. Oh shit. <laughs> I, as he yelled as soon as I started the attack, and I knew I was fucked. It's fine though, just be careful. Okay, so that's not a blockable move on, apparently. Let's get back in. At least you can block that, that knee. Shit, wrong button. <sighs> I thought I was already on Estus, so I tried to switch over to the silver uh, pendant. There we go. Damn, that, that, that sucks, because that's like my favorite one to dodge with the pendant, because it just looks so dope. They all like crash into you and just bounce away. This is much better now that I'm actually using a shield. I should have stuck with my original strategy for bosses. You know, play defensively. Oh god, that was almost really bad. Oh, get out of here. This is only working because I'm using the medium shield equivalent to a great shield. If you don't have something with really high stability, you're going to have to dodge. Whoop, that was close. And I would not recommend making this a dodge boss fight. Well, I mean, no, I've done it before. It's actually fine. No! Okay. I was worried he was going to do like a complete 180 instantly. Alright. Oh, jeez, I almost walked right on where he spawned. stuff to get more souls again like a fool all right well he was a pain in the ass but that's fine still one more boss we have to deal with as well let's level up get more decks we're just short of another one so i'll just i'll pop a soul real quick oh she's gone Also, I realized how foolish I seem because I talked earlier about how changing strategy doesn't help. You just gotta keep dodging and stuff like that for this boss, and that's why he's bad. And then I changed strategy and it works. So, you know, I feel bad for saying that. Belay that. My apologies. Uh, let's see. Is it Township? That said, I do feel that unless you have an incredibly strong blocking build, it is basically Dodge City. And not every character is able to use a large shield if they're, especially if they're dexterity focused. Maybe an eagle shield? I don't know. I don't know. Should probably also 
tap out the uh, township bonfire. Now that keep from before was this right? Yes. All right. Do I need to trigger the dragon before I can talk to you about shooting it down? I think I do. I would love this guy to tell me a story. Thanks to thee, he left this world with honor intact. Desire, a child, a blind. Of little help to thee, I'm afraid. But hello, Carving. Ah, oh, thank you, Carving. I would use more large shards. Oh, he sells homer bones cheaper than the undead merchant in the sewer. I think you need to necessarily get killed by Calamity to trigger. I think you just need Calamity to fly up and start breathing fire. So let's actually go ahead and put a homeward bone here. And when he flies over to breathe fire everywhere, thus triggering all the all the stuff that make go go nuts. Go go nuts! Um then we should be able to fight him. Let me actually kindle the bonfire in the township up to max level. Because that is a pretty popular bonfire for PvP. Oh, the managers near the bottom right there. I keep forgetting. <laughs> it's you. It's what you sound like. How was that humanity was restored after killing a boss? Was it restored? I didn't die after killing Manus for any reason. No, no. Huh. I guess I'm thinking of Demon Souls. I thought they had something like that in Dark Souls as well. It makes sense. Well, it's not that it would necessarily make sense, but you know, it would it would be nice. Like, oh, I had so much trouble killing that boss, and now I'm human again, so now I can get invaded and do co-op. Again, I'm gonna have to look up if there's any reason to give her the soul. Otherwise, I'll just murder the hell out of her. With her own ring. I have the, yeah, I have the homework bones equipped. And while I'm looking up if there's any reason to help her, I will check on... Oh yeah, I still need to kill Gwendolyn. But uh, I need to check all the bosses I can online, make sure I'm not missing any. Because I don't want to miss any bosses. God, I forgot these guys. I mean, I remembered them, I just forgot that they looked like that. Did they have iframes on their dodge? They looked like I swung right through them. See, see that? Okay. 
Okay. No, I, actually, I bet that's all you gotta do to trigger them. It's just that. Isn't there like a path you can jump down to get stuff? Yeah, let's do that. Assuming it doesn't kill me. Oh, no, 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 oh, no. I didn't realize that was a crystal wizard. I thought it was just holding an item. Now, I'm going to circle around because I remember there's a chest underneath the waterfall over there. And I think you can just barely grab it and then warp out before Kalami uh, burns you to death. Because I think it's triggered based on distance. And I think right as you're approaching the chest, you've, like, gone that distance. because I didn't know if I needed to cut it close or not. It's kind of annoying that I suddenly got hit twice, though. If I fell all the way down and laid there again, I probably would have survived. Oh, well, let's go talk to Yo. At least now, if he needed to kill me for the trigger, it would definitely have triggered now. So, could you shoot the dragon down for me? Reminder, he said he was blind before, so, uh, <laughs> he's just like, yeah, I feel him over there. I, s I can smell him.
the rest of the bonfire real quick. Because with that, I think we can call that an episode. Anyway, guys, if you liked the video, be sure to leave a like. If you want me to read a comment, just go ahead and leave one. I read them all. And uh, you know, if you've gotten this far and somehow I haven't subscribed yet, then... Well, I guess that's your choice. <laughs> Alright, you guys have a good one.